Hey guys, um, so this is just the intro before the intro. <laughs> um, yeah, so what do you think about the colors I've used in this um, hoop design? Do you like them together? Um, so this is just a random idea from my head. So just listen to me in the main intro. See you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl by your not I'm too happy. So guys, today we're gonna be um, styling the hoop once again. Um, if you're new to my channel, yeah, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. And um, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please subscribe, share this video, like, and comment, and tell me what you think about every video you watch. I love to read your comments and respond to. In fact, I look forward to your comments. So that i can respond and help you along the way in your journey of being a brilliant artist and um, so guys we're doing the book today um so if you watched my video of doing a hoop for valentine's you would have seen how i created a hoop guys if you're new to my channel and you've not seen how i made my hoop because i made this hoop myself i'm going to put the details um, of how what I used to construct it in the description and then I'm going to link the video um, that I you know did the creating of the frame I'm going to put it in the description so you can watch that and get all the information you need to make your own hoop so this was like something I made myself it was everything was DIY or I think it would have cost me like 10-15 pounds to make this myself so the only thing I did was I spray painted it, but you would see that the spray paint is not covering it well enough. It's because I didn't have enough spray paint. It was a 110 mil spray paint I had, and so it didn't cover it fully. Um, but if I'm going to be using this for a client, obviously I would be spray painting because it's just for a tutorial and for it to match the colors I'm going to be using, I just used what I had. So the colors we're going to be using today is. Uh, a mix of yellow with um cocoa brown and sorry pastel yellow cocoa brown uh, blush um, and then we're gonna put like gold in the middle then i've got some greenery that i'm gonna be adding to it so this is perfect for like a jungle birthday theme um at home you could use it for um you, 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 the hoop can be you know you can create so many things with it and i'm gonna be doing that a lot of times guys so this is one of my creations for it. We're going to inflate our balloons now. Um, so yes, guys, let us. So we are inflating the balloons now. Um, so what you do is I'm using 11 inches at the moment because um, I didn't have a lot of five inches. And to be honest, I think I would advise that you use mainly 11 inches for this for any hoop design it's more nicer and um but in the absence of five inches then you can use 11 inches because i understand that some countries do not actually have loads of five inches um yeah so you could just use an 11 inches and then you under inflate just inflate them random sizes mini sizes carry on um, so i'm going to start with the base first with the bottom first so uh, so you take two balloons of two different families you wrap them together like that i'm going to do the same thing with this then i'm going to get a 260 cube this is a 260 cube. This is a short one. I'm not going to need a long one. And I'm tying it into this one. This is like a cluster of eight. So I'm going to wrap this. So you can see I'm trying to like tighten the hoop on the top. You need to make sure the hoop is really tight because the thingy that connects it at the top is like has a like a screw. 
so you make sure you tighten it um, when you're doing this for an actual job or else it would keep moving um, if it still keeps moving i would suggest that you connect it with um cable ties and it would stay or you you just use duct tape to just keep it in place and you're good to go so i'm just doing the base just you know just random sizes just um just be creative with the base basically you don't have to do it the way i've done mine just be creative with it and you're good to go so we're back to the top and you just start with clusters of um two or you could do like i've done here i've used um a duplet and a duplet to make a cord so i'm just wrapping it around like the way you would wrap when you use you know you're doing an actual balloon arch or you're using a frame you just need to wrap the balloon round nicely and push it close together yes we can see a gap at the moment but do not worry about the gap because you're gonna have a, like the smaller five inches to cover the gaps like i said i didn't have five inches of some of the balloons um, but i was able to still make do with the 11 inches um so uh just you could just break the 11 inches into smaller sizes and you're good to go so this is the bottom part i am wrapping clusters of balloons round just wrap your clusters together like i have done here and then push it close together do not worry about where each balloon is sitting at the moment um because you're just starting out so you you still have time to step back and check what you have done um so i finished the top the, the two last two ends with a lighter shade of um the would i call it lighter the pearlized brown so i worked with the lighter colors first then you know just break up break up and you know So for the top parts, do the same thing you do for you know for the bottom part. So if you are doing this for like a baby shower, all you need to do is just you know maybe if it's a boy, you could use blues for the bottom and then you could use a white for the top part um i'm gonna try and do this design again for like a girl's baby shower initially i was gonna do this for a baby shower actually but then because i've always got this changing mind thingy problem <laughs> i always change my mind even when i'm creating for youtube i think of doing one thing and the next minute something else comes to my mind and I want to create that. I could change ideas like three times in in a space of just a few hours that I'm creating. It's that bad. Because there are times I wake up, okay, I'm going to like film like three different videos today. And at the end of the day, I end up filming just one because I got overwhelmed with thinking about too many things at the same time. Coupled with the fact that YouTube is not my main business i run my own balloon business too so yeah it happens like that so i was going to actually do this colors for like a gender neutral baby shower theme but then i changed my mind or i got how will i put it i be, i wasn't in the mood again so i just had to do like a bit birthday one a simple birthday one so yeah this is i like this for uh it could be for a birthday if or you could use pearl tone balloons and use it for like a wedding you know with a bigger hoop maybe so i'm just rearranging the bottom to make it sit pretty and perfect i am done with the top part too so i had a bit of greenery and i thought to add it to the old design to give it that um extra humph what do you think about the greenery I added? Would you add greenery to these colors? Let me know in the comment section. 
and do also let me know if you like designs like this because um, on YouTube everybody tends to like do garlands 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 but they forget that um, we there are so many other you know balloon creations you could do and make money from um, I believe if you're watching the, this video it's mainly for your business um, so yeah it's always good to be able to like do so many things it won't be nice if if you're only perfect doing garlands but you can't do like stuff like this that's me anyway um yeah so i'm just adding the greenery to finish off my look um as always i am not i've not like really seen any thing i do not like as i'm doing in the in the hoop design but when i stepped back you know looking at this video now i'm just seeing that there, there were a bit of things i could have moved around or changed but um there's always a second time you know so that is why you need to make sure if you're doing stuff like this for your client you like look through your camera lens your phone camera and check what you've done and make sure you correct all your mistakes before you take your perfect photos so the greenery i'm adding is just normal um fresh actually they, they it's the stem of the roses i used in my t tutorial from last week you know the mother's day one i did yeah so they worked really well for me So just spread out the greenery all around the design. I wish I had more of the greenery. I would have added a whole lot more. Um, so next you just inflate your happy birthday foil balloon. Um, the foil balloon, this foil, it's called, the, I think it's script or so. And then you just you glue dash it to the um, to the balloons, and you have your perfect birthday balloon hoop. Or you could leave out the happy birthday and just let people use it for like a photo um, how like a photo photo frame where they can stand behind and pop their head in the middle and take pictures, basically. So it's great for birthdays, baby shower, weddings, whatever the occasion is. Details of my hoop and everything I used will be in description, guys. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to subscribe once again. Remember to like this video, comment and share this video comments because i'd love to read from you and respond to your questions i always look forward to read guys so make sure you